Due to our lifestyle, busy schedule, multi-skill job and cutthroat competition, stress and tension becomes new normal. How you deal with it? Through medication or through meditation? In the last 20 years, meditation becomes so popular that everyone wants to make it a part of their life. Meditation is less about faith and religion. It's more about bringing awareness, calm mind and inner harmony. There are dozens of meditation available. If you are not sure which one will suit you, then this episode is for you. Be with me up to the end of this video and you will discover your meditation type. Why wait? Let's get started. Namaste friends, my name is Rajneesh, a meditation coach and human potential trainer. My mission is to provide life empowering techniques in a simple and practical way. So far we have understood common myths about meditation. Why to meditate, what is meditation and when to do it. If you haven't watched this episode yet, then please check them out. I have attached the link to the description box. Well. There is no any right or wrong with any kind of meditation. These meditations are only differ in intention, purpose, style and process. Research claims that each meditation type has unique impact on our brain. Same as physical exercise. If we are doing more exercise for our arms, then we are going to get really great biceps and triceps. If you are going to do more exercise for our shoulder, then we are going to get shoulder muscles. So today we are going to discuss five common and most popular meditation type. Let's go. First, body scan or progressive relaxation or sometimes we call it Vipassana. Scan, scan like x-ray machines. X-ray shows our bone in the body and body scan meditation shows sensation. Let's understand first how these sensation create. A human body is made up of trillions of cells in which some are born, grow and die and some stay same throughout our lifespan. These cells are continuously changed or modified based on the internal and external factors. External factors like temperature, weather, exercise, light, etc. And internal factors like our emotions, feeling, thinking, etc. As these cells are interconnected, so some kind of communication channel is required. So chemicals in our body communicate the information from one cell to other, but it takes too long. So electrical impulses take charge for speedy transmission from one point of the body to other almost instantaneously using neurons. So how it works? When we think something, feel something or do something, so some kind of neuron patterns emerge. So those neurons send a signal to the cells and cells store those information in the form of sensation. So whether it is a good experience or a bad, so it stores in the form of sensations. So what bodies can meditation do? It is a conscious practice to observe the cells and their sensations. It requires a narrow or I should say laser focus for all the sensations related to stress, anxiety and tension in our body. So usually we scan our body from toe to head and sometimes head to toe. This meditation also includes to observe thoughts non-judgmentally. When we focus on those sensations, so those sensations starts vanishing. That's how we feel reduction in stress. The benefits of this meditation is it improves focus, concentration, reduce some stress and tension in the body and create awareness. It is recommended to learn this meditation 
in the presence of a meditation teacher. Second is mindfulness meditation. This is another common and most popular meditation due to our busy lifestyle. Mindfulness means mindful of everything you do. This technique is not require any particular sitting posture or any specific time. You can do it at any time of the day at any place. It is a conscious effort to bring yourself back from past or future thoughts to now. The ultimate power is hidden in the now state. Why I say power? Because there is no any stress or fear in present state. Give yourself a minute and think right now are you feeling any kind of stress or fear? Trust me those things are only exist in the thoughts of past or future. So observe yourself and your surroundings through five physical senses is a mindfulness meditation. So benefits are improve awareness, reduce DMN that is monkey mind behavior and because your energy is not draining in the unuseful thoughts then you will be more productive in all areas of your life. Third type is breathing awareness meditation. This meditation is very simple and most ancient. Pretty simple technique to apply conscious effort to observe breathing patterns in our body. Breath is a non-stop process. Whether you are awake or in deep sleep, whether you are sitting idle or engaging in any activity, whether you do something or don't do anything, breath is always with you. Breath is the one which connects us with the outer world. We continuously do transaction with outer world by inhale and exhale. So observing our breaths inhale and exhale patterns in our body is breath awareness meditation. Benefits, it boosts the mood, reduce DMN behavior, improve calmness in the mind and develop compassion and many more benefits. Fourth meditation is Zen meditation. Zen meditations comes from the Buddhist psychology, which primarily focus on thoughts, how thoughts generate and flow in our mind. It is a conscious effort to completely pay attention to think about nothing means only think about inner body breath and mind the main aim of zen meditation is to let it go for all judgments and preconceived notions benefits benefits are same as other meditation type like stress relief calm mind awareness improvement and overcome limiting beliefs this meditation requires a close bond between guru and disciple relationship. Faith, trust and surrender are the key attributes of this meditation. Fifth most common meditation is transcendental meditation. We call it TM. TM is a mantra based meditation where a teacher provides a mantra to the student to think during the practice. Mantra which has no meaning. If no meanings then mind cannot create images. It means less distraction. So TM is a registered organization located in USA and founded by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. And now it spreads all around the world. If you want to learn TM, then you need to find a certified TM practitioner. All meditation centers are not certified by TM. So benefits, some practitioners claims that in this state, they achieve perfect stability, rest, and completely absence of mental chattering and other benefits are same as other meditation type wonderful now which meditation style is good for you how you will find out any meditation which you can do comfortably and suit your physical and mental ability will be good for you you can start with any or even you can blend one or two meditation Ultimately, it is going to benefit you. But if you have any kind of severe mental illness, then I recommend you to consult your doctor first before starting this practice. Otherwise, you can start at any time. What do you think? Which meditation style will suit you? Write in the comment box. 
I will try to make a video on those topics. However, we are going to cover breathing awareness meditation in the coming episodes. Step by step, we are moving towards to take meditation experience. If you don't know how to sit in the meditation, where to keep your hands and what are the do's and don'ts, then the next episode is for you. We are going to cover different sitting postures and other basic techniques. It will increase the intensity of your results. I wish everyone joy, peace and abundance of success in your life. Stay active and keep smiling. See you soon. Till then. Namaste.